charlotteexpressionsvinyl.com. And have you ever been stumped on whether you're, you're able to layer Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl? It's not recommended to, some people do, but I'm gonna show you a quick modify method in the Silhouette Studio so that you can do a fake layering. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so we're in Silhouette Studio. I've already got my images set aside and we're going to use the Sassy Last image and our five clovers. I just need one clover, so I'm just gonna grab one. And what you're first gonna wanna do is prep it so that it is how you want it to look on your shirt. And size it to however you wish. All right, super easy. You can layer on top or not, it's totally up to you. But that looks pretty good. And all you have to do is select one image, hold shift and select your other image and off to the right hand side of the screen under your modify, since we're modifying, you're going to subtract all. What this is going to do once I hit it, it's going to look like it didn't do anything. But once I move this sassy, I have a cookie cutter. So now when I cut my vinyl out, it's going to puzzle piece together and you're just going to do the same thing. You could do it all at once um, or you can do it separate. Once you have that ready to go, group them together and create a weeding box around it. A weeding box that would be the size of your um, surface. So we're just gonna do a five by four box because that's about the size I want on my onesie. Okay. Now what you want to do is you have to separate them so you can cut them separately. And just do that by ungrouping and duplicating multiples. So you should have a duplicated gold, black, and a green. For these other pieces, since they're going to be puzzle pieced together, you can just separate them. They don't necessarily need that original weeding box. I'm keeping the original weeding box on this one because it's the prominent color and it's going to help me line up my shapes evenly on the garment. All right. And don't forget with heat transfer, you always want to mirror your image. So try to do that before you send it. With glitter heat transfer vinyl, I would recommend using the premium blade. It's going to cut a lot cleaner. So I'm going to change that to tool two since my premium blade is in tool two. And once it's highlighted in blue, that means tool two is activated and you can go in and select your settings. So we're going to go to our heat transfer glitter. All right, and I have the blade. I will have to manually adjust my premium blade to a five. My speed's a three and my force is about a 15. That'll vary depending upon how dull or um, new your blade is. And then just send. Okay, so we've already got our vinyl cut out. So I have my green that I've cut out and I did the same thing, mirrored it, sized it down with my gold and my black. So let's take a quick look. And as you can see, my boxes are all the same. This is my prominent box because now I can kind of line up better visually on my onesie if it's gonna be centered or not. And once that's on there, these don't need to be the full length because I'm just gonna puzzle piece them in there. So let's go ahead and apply it. Glitter heat transfer is 320 degrees for 15 to 20 seconds with a heat press. Iron, I do it about the cotton middle setting just around there and just firm pressure. And it's a hot peel. And glitter heat transfer won't shrink. So it's really easy to do the knockout effects. You don't have to worry about lines. So now, all I have to do is puzzle piece that together. Just line it up with there and then press it again. I only did my clover for about five seconds because I'm going to hit all of them for different times because I don't want to exceed the 15 to 20 seconds. So at the very end, you can kind of hit it all at once for a little bit more and then it will kind of all add up. Okay. If you don't have a carrier sheet, you can keep this one because it was the size before of the whole image and you can just cover it again because you don't want to hit your clover with the iron directly. Okay. Okay, 
and you're just going to repeat that with every layer that you have. And then for this one, I'm going to do about 10 seconds. And if there's any spots that are not kind of sticking, just go for a couple seconds at a time. So now that I've got all three layers on there, I'm just going to press it for a couple seconds, and that's just going to kind of smooth everything out. Okay, and it's as simple as that. So that is how you would do the fake modifying, where it looks like it's layered on top of each other, but it's actually not. It's just puzzle piece together. It could sometimes be called the knockout. Sometimes it's called the cookie cutter method. Either way, you just have to modify your images just a little bit. So if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. If you liked this and would like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. Have a great day, guys. Bye.